So when I see Singaporean food, I see a marriage of cultures. From Chinese Hokkien Mee, that incorporates sambal chili from the Malays, Malay mee rebus that uses Chinese duck soy sauce, Indian mee goreng with Chinese egg noodles, to satay bee hoon, a unique dish that marries Malay and Chinese food culture. And all this creates a very unique blend of local flavours that we call our very own hawker dishes. I have always loved food and coming from a food-loving family, I very naturally fell in love with food photography and I think that helped me to kind of understand and appreciate this importance of food heritage. So I think that as Singapore modernizers, our cuisine is also in search of our identity and voice that reflects this evolution. You have Hainanese chicken rice, which is something that you would never find in Hainan itself. And that got me wondering if we are able to embrace modern forms of Singaporean cuisine as part of our very own national identity. And with that, For Here or Takeaway was born. I wanted to reimagine local food as more Western concepts. For example, burgers and waffles and pizzas that allowed viewers to consider whether or not authenticity is something that to them is still relevant and important in this modern day and age. The one thing I realized through doing this project was actually picking up on the details that make our local food our local food, like the colours of a dish or even down to the finer details such as the garnishings that make our local cuisine distinct. We have the peanuts, the ikan bilis and the sambal in nasi lemak, the laksa leaves and the spicy coconut broth in laksa, and of course the signature green kaya spread in kaya toast. These are the factors that help us to identify what our local cuisine is. So I think that hawker centres are a very unique establishment that is part and parcel of the Singaporean way of life. Hawker centres in the past uh, were more catered to the cuisines of the four primary races of Singapore, uh, the Malays, the Chinese, the Indians and the Eurasians. But on top of that, we have definitely come a long way in terms of the types of cuisines that you can find at a hawker centre. Nowadays, hawker centres are a lot more open to this concept of local fusion cuisine as well, where we take traditional local dishes and spice it up uh, with more global flavours from around the world. We have like a younger generation of hawkers who are more open to explore with the type of food that they serve. Um, Italian, American, sometimes British, Japanese, Korean, Thai, so much more. I think it will be a very cool thing for tourists and foreigners to get to try these local fusion dishes that may very well be only available here in Singapore itself, which I think is what makes that concept so unique as well. So for a long time, I've been thinking on how to expand for here or take away. Our local cuisine is so broad and diverse that my original eight images do not exactly do justice to the local food scene that we have here. I want to be able to expose different types of people, regardless of their age or whether or not they're local or foreign, to the diverse range of Nyonya Kuehs that exist in Singapore, beyond what we might commonly know of as Kuehs. Nyonya Kuehs are a very unique aspect of our local food scene they have a very unique appearance in the sense that they are very distinctive, each and every single kue. There is a form of simplicity to each piece, but similarly to our Singaporean cuisine, each kue has its own complexity as well. Every kue has its own purpose to it, like how it was created. So for example, with kue lapis, the layers that we peel off actually symbolize longevity. 
So I did wonder if I want to adapt a Nyonya Kueh into a more westernized or upmarket form. How then would the viewer look at it? And I would hope to be able to use this expansion of this project to expound on the traditions and history and background of these kueh. Singapore is still a very young country and we would have to expect our local cuisine to continue to grow and evolve with the times. But I would like to think also that the memories that we have from our own local dining experiences would be there to stay with us for a very long time. It could be the memories of the taste, the smell, the texture, the look, even down to the ambience and the location of where I'm having this dining experience, these memories would help us to bear in mind what we would define as local Singaporean food.